What's up, folks? It's story time once again. This was called The Predator, and we'll get into what that's about. I worked with this fucking fool a while back. And he'd started in a different department. Started in a starting pay. Come in sweating his fucking balls off. Found out that there was an opening in my department. Came, came over, inquired about it. I got him into the position. And for four solid months, this motherfucker was always busy doing little cleanup projects. Basically fucking off and hiding while I did all the real work. And then uh, the supervisor of my department lost his job and then they started panicking. Well, who are we going to get to do this fucking job now? So they looked at this guy's resume and it was fraudulent as a motherfucker. I mean, this, this dude had churched up his resume something wicked. Well, I think in their haste, they didn't do their fucking homework. Well, this guy's got a great resume. We've, we've got us a gold mine here, right? Now, now, this is a guy that had told me, well, I'm not here for the money. Bullshit. Bullshit. Anybody that comes to you at work and says they're not there for the money is a lying motherfucker. Oh, well, I've been the man at other jobs, and I just want to... I don't want any responsibility. I just want to come to work and kick back and do my job. I don't have to worry about all that. So they throw this guy into a management position. Now I got to work for this fucking clown. This guy who's landed himself in a water hazard and was in way over his fucking head. And of course, he fucking just starts soaking it up, playing the role. Starts breaking off these $3 words, using them out of context and shit. <laughs> Hitting us off with all these little acronyms and shit. Okay. Here's the thing that, that bothers me. I don't give a shit. I don't use a lot of $3 words because I don't want to come across as being pretentious. I'm just going to talk straight to you. What When people come at me and try to use $3 words, use these big ass words that nobody else uses, to try and convince me that they're fucking smart, I see right through it. Because when you use uh, an extended vocabulary and you lack common fucking sense, I'm going to see right through it. Because if you don't have common sense, I don't give a shit what kind of words you're using. If you're a fucking nimrod, I'm going to be able to see it, dude. So the motherfucker starts out in low gear, and as the days progress, suddenly... He becomes more and more full of himself because he can tell people what to fucking do. So he just starts bird dogging the fuck out of everybody. Didn't know what the fuck he was doing, fucking everything up. And then the motherfucker wants to come out of the gate at least three times a week talking about, They don't know what I'm capable of. I'm just a predator posing as prey. I'm going to change the game around this motherfucker. I'm just a predator posing as prey. And I had to hear this shit. At least three out of five days a week, he would make sure he evolved the conversation into an opportunity for him to remind me. I'm just a predator posing as prey. I just... Hey, more like a fucking Nimrod posing as a man. A fucking raging closet fucking drunk posing as a real motherfucker. Bullshit. Predator posing as prey. This motherfucker tried to play it out like the whole thing had been planned. Like he had masterminded this fucking thing. Like he was undercover boss or some shit. Right? Here's the thing that slayed me. Motherfucker like 56, 57 fucking years old. Still coming to work lying like a motherfucker. Talking about all these... All these people's asses he'd whipped and all the pussy he could pull. No, dude. No. Talking about how he smashed a guy's face with a fucking sledgehammer and stole a car and drove through a couple of fucking stores. Now, back in my wild days when I was in Chicago and I dealt with the fucking mob. Said he owned a restaurant, owned a fucking bar. Was one of the top elite traveling salesmen. Okay. How is it that a motherfucker could be so successful and has retired twice now? He just came back to work because he was fucking bored. 
tried to sell us this horse shit about, oh, well, I got all this money, all these properties. You know, I'm going to go chase me a piece of pussy down to Florida. End up quitting, right? Well, he ended up quitting because he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. And he knew that they were going to be on to him real soon. I could already see through it. I knew for a fact the motherfucker was bluffing every inch of the way. So he concocts this big story about this piece of pussy he was going to go chase down to Florida. I'm well, give me a boat. I'll send y'all a picture. I sold a couple of my properties off. And I'm going to go buy me a boat and ride on the waves and just kick back and not do shit for a while. Just smoke me some weed, fuck some pussy. Work on my suntan, drink some high dollar scotch. Cause I'm just a predator posing as prey. You know, if you want to impress me, motherfucker, how about just be honest? If you've been a failure at everything you fucking tried, at least be honest about it. Don't fucking say that, yo, you're somebody. That was another thing that slayed me too, is this guy was so fucking caught up. He lost himself in his role, and this little role that he was playing, this act. That he would he would joke around, you know. You know the people will try to put you down and run you down and tell you that you ain't shit under the guise of, of I'm just joking. Well, don't get all sensitive now. Don't 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 say anything back now because I was just kidding. I don't. I hope you're not too sensitive. No, I'm not too sensitive, Doctor Thin Skin. You just can't handle it when I burn your fucking goofy ass to the ground. I can't stand these kind of people that'll throw insults at you under the guise of fucking joking and then laugh their stupid looking ass off with that gross ass mouth with them teeth that look like chunks of butterscotch. <laughs> the only one laughing is you, dick sucker. Because I've already outmanned you. I'm half your fucking age. I've already outmanned you ten ways to Sunday. You've failed at everything that you've ever tried. Here's another thing that would fucking slay me too. Because since he would use me as his safety net. So I knew the job front and back. So he decided to run this fucking buddy hustle on me. I mean, he'd try to play like we were best friends and shit, even though he'd try to run me down. And he never could keep up with me when it came to snapping fucking jokes at each other. Dr. Thin Skin like a motherfucker. But he'd always try to play this fucking role like we were so tight. Yeah, I love you like a brother. Whatever, motherfucker. I could not go to fucking lunch. And it was fucking exhausting. I could not go to lunch without this guy. You know, I don't mind going with my coworkers or my boss once in a while and break bread. But usually that little fucking 30 minute blip in time. I would just want to sit down and eat. Or go get me something to drink and sit in my car, people watch, go fucking to the car wash, do something, just time out for 30 fucking minutes for myself and let me fucking just simmer for a second. But no, I would try to go in the office and talk to some of the upper management people or go hide in the bathroom for 10 or 15 minutes, hoping this motherfucker would go without me so that I could have 30 minutes of fucking peace. Because the motherfucker was up my ass the whole fucking day, bird dogging. So what are you doing? What are you into? What are you doing? What are you doing next? Hell, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Stop for a minute. Hey, come have a cigarette with me. Dude, but fuck off. So every fucking day is the same fucking thing. Oh, and, and we got to ride with him. And he's one of the people that want to fucking smoke with the fucking windows up. Fucking crack a window, dude. Fuck. And he bitch all the way. This motherfucker don't know how to drive. This motherfucker don't know how to drive. This motherfucker right here don't know how to fucking kill you. This motherfucker don't know how to drive. All the way there, road rage, unnecessarily. And then we'll go wherever the fuck you want to go eat, whatever. And this motherfucker ate faster than fuck. So I'd have to hear him road rage all the way there, just keeping me tense as fuck. Then the motherfucker's going to eat and finish his fucking food. He could eat twice as much as me and be done ten bites before I was. And now he's chomping in the bit. Hurry up, get back. Go, 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 go. And then bitch all the way back. I can't count how many fucking times I just threw the rest of my fucking lunch away. It tasted like fucking sand. You know, and he'd ask a couple of questions for I'd answer him. Then he'd blah, 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 just fucking throw that shit down his fucking throat. And then bitch all the way fucking back. It was fucking exhausting. 
Why is it you guys disappear right before a last fire? Well, maybe if you weren't so fucking stupid, you'd get the fucking point, dude. I need 30 minutes away from your fucking ass. You wear me the fuck out. And then right toward the end, of course, he once he put in his little fucking notice, oh, that motherfucker was relentlessly bird-dogging. Going out of his way to do absolute dick. Nothing. And then trying to go around and pick shit with pussies at work and tell them how tough he was. I'll knock your ass the fuck out. Told this guy that. Actually, he didn't make it to his quit, his, his quit date because he got fired for trying to punk out a fucking pussy. Good riddance to the predator posing as prey. Just a predator posing as prey. No, you're just a dick sucker posing as a man. Now get the fuck out of here.